truth that you are a slave like everyone else you were born into bondage born into a prison a prison for your mind Greetings to all of humanity's reader Joyce my precious all my honor to be greeting you and bringing this message of emancipation to you whereby I'm pointing you to look inwardly to discover that your real identity is your divinity that's why I want to speak to you on the power of creativity and innovation and how we can tap into that power of creativity and innovation now if you listen to me it means that you are familiar with the teachings of Neville Goddard and how he received those teachings from his aunt, from his mentor Abdullah the black mystic from Ethiopia and Abdullah is our ancestor and so we see that this teaching can go all the way back to ancient African spirituality, pointing each and every one of us to look inwardly, saying to us, man, know thyself. So here we see Neville, who was studying with Abdullah, the Bible, plus the Kabbalah. We see how Abdullah got him to tap into the power of creativity and innovation and what i really mean by that is that all creativity all innovation came from the source of knowing who you are that source that will bring you into your true identity to be your divinity is the same source that will teach you of how to utilize your creativity or your ability bringing you into that place of purpose bringing you into that place of self-confidence bringing you into that place of assurance knowing that you are the lord and master of your destiny and that you can create your reality consciously now if you think more closely you would realize that secular christianity that has been pointing to look outwardly and for you to believe in a blonde hair blue eye man 2000 years ago it was robbing you of your creativity and your innovation powers because you've been giving your power away by holding on to false identity you who believe in a god outside of yourself you've been embracing an idol that is robbing you of everything so when you listen to the lectures of Neville Goddard and you have a firm understanding of your ancient african spirituality and you realize what was taught to you through secular christianity there's no way that you cannot see that christianity has been used to keep you in mental slavery and for you to have a poverty mentality and for you to live in mediocrity and limitation When you listen to the even the lectures of Neville Goddard, who happens to be a white man, you would realize that Neville is saying that his ancestors misinterpret your own African spirituality to you by putting himself. into your spirituality and give you an idol of himself so every time Neville says that if you call on a lord or a savior or you call on Jesus and believe he's a man 2000 years ago you have the wrong god many people look forward to that and say this is a man that is bringing forth great great knowledge and so on but no this is a man that is exposing what his ancestors would have done
So your, your, your creativity and the power to innovate has been robbed from you by way of you choosing because everyone has been given a choice you choosing to believe in a God outside of yourself and that is why any of you believe in a God or a Savior or a Redeemer outside of yourself you're keeping yourself limited so what I really want to say to you is that we have to start to speak to our people especially our young people how to be more creative and innovative how to tap into their minds and understand how the mind works how to love and embrace themselves and how not to get too uh not to get too in depth in the present educational system that's given to them not to get too wrapped up because they're teaching you what to think. They're not teaching you how to think. So all of these teachings that are out here on the internet and all of these things that are happening, it is because we have reached a place where there is a flood on the earth. There's the world wide web with an ocean of information and many people are getting drunk with the ocean of information but they are very important information that must come back to put the people on a super spiritual highway and on that highway we move by the speed of thought we do everything by the speed of thought because we understand that the mind, uh, the, we understand the power of the mind, and we understand that the brain is a transmitter and receiver frequency. For everything is energy, vibration, and frequency. So, my brother and my sisters, this whole teaching concerning imagination creates reality. You have to always go a step further than just trying to get things in this world and understand that Abdullah is really teaching Neville a message of self-realization. That is why I've been always bringing to you the single eye. Yes, the single eye. Yeah, the single eye message of self-realization of which Matthew 6.22 says that if your eye be single, if your eye be single, your whole body will be full of light. That is my experience. And I'm saying to you, Jesus, as a man 2,000 years ago, is not the light of the world. Come and say, we teach you that the sun is the light of the world. And when you have a true awakening experience, it is the rising of the S-U-N in a S-O-N. For it is the dawning of a new day in your life. For you would realize that the sun parallels the human imagination and the human imagination parallels the sun. Therefore, without the sun, there is no life and there is no light. And without the human imagination, there isn't anything made that was made or anything else that ever going to be made for that matter. And you're told that the Lord thy God is a sun and a shield and no good thing which he withhold from you. Come and say as a teacher that the sun has never withhold any good thing from humanity. For the sun is what powers all of humanity and gives all of humanity its energy. And you're told... Also, that the sun, the S-U-N of righteousness shall arise in you with healing in his wings. That's what I'm saying to you. You got to heal yourself by unlearning everything that was ever taught to you and relearning. In other words, reprogram your subconscious mind to make you become more creative and innovative. Because all creativity and innovation comes from this power. And this power is within you. And that's why you're told that when you discover the kingdom that is within you, 
that all these things that you so desire in this world will be added on to you because you will discover the secret of creation when you discover the creator and I'm saying to you the creator in man is man's imagination take control of your mind that's what all the messages of Neville God is all about take control of your mind and someone will control your mind for you and that has always been what our ancestors have been teaching. So, with that being said, my brother and my sister, I want to thank you very much for listening to me. And I want to say to you, if this is the very first time that you listen to me and what I'm saying it makes sense to you, resonating with you, then it is for you. And I would like to say, if you haven't subscribed already, I'm encouraging you to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this video. Also, if you like to follow me on Instagram, you can follow me on Instagram at Black Mad Guru. Also, you can check out my work on my Patreon. Okay, there's a lot of things on Patreon that you can check out. But for those who are uh, donating a little bit more, there's a course called the Inner Sun Science and Technology to create your reality consciously that will be made available to you. It is actually available to you. Okay, if you're donating at least $20. Okay. Also, if there's any other way that you like to support this work, we have a PayPal and the link is down below. Feel free to check it out. So with that being said, my brother and my sister, I want to say peace. I love you all. I'm out.